In today's episode, we'll be retrofitting a pot light, 10R16 to be exact, with LED pot lights. Big savings. Please take safety precautions, shut up all power, and remember, even though this is easy, it can be deadly. So be safe. I start by taking out the old pot light, the MR16. It's uh, three little bolts on the sides. Uh, different pot lights, different things, but all about the same. They'll have something holding on the side that you can take out the cup. I'd like to uh, thank my lovely wife for helping me out. She was a camera person. And even though her arms are hurting here, because uh, I think you're very tripod, she did a good job. Come on. Got him out of the box, just cutting it down. One great feature about these uh, pot lights are their half inch thickness, same as the drywall. So if you hit a stud, if you're making a new one, not retrofitting or retrofitting into a new area, it's great because if you do hit a stud, as long as that box fits in there, it'll work. If you're not sure how hard to strip it on the box, on the actual light, there's a measurement there you can follow. So that way when you stick the wires in, they're not exposed. Get your box, the wires out, get the other way. Please shut up the power, make sure shut up the main breaker. I only have the switch off. But Having the switch off will be sufficient, unless it's a three-way, then you have to be a little more careful. And at the same time, make sure nobody comes in the room, turns on the switch, and say, hey, what are you doing? You will find it the strobe switches, the wires are a little short like these ones. Okay, here we go. Now, these are so simple. Why are these connectors? Stick them inside here, push it all the way in. And if you have problems with your fingers, like sometimes I do, you can use pliers and needle nose pliers to stick them in. But when you do the blacks and the white, make sure there's no bare copper. I heard a beeping. Still recording? Yeah. I need to follow black to black, white to white. They made this really idiot proof. Not to say somebody can't screw it up still. Take your time, don't go fast, and don't mix up the wires. Now pause. Okay. Right, tuck everything in nicely. There's nothing touching, no bare wires, snaps in, and it basically it just fits right in, like so. Cross. Okay, and to connect it, like just goes in like so, and you just push it in and twist it to lock. And that's simple as that. Be careful with these springs, because they will hurt you. They are pretty powerful. And you just slide it in like so, it snaps. There you have it. I went with the 4000K, you can go with three, they have five and six. Uh, the reason I went with four is nice and bright. They're nine watts per light, replacing my 50 watts and a lot brighter, I may say. Great, uh, great product. Thanks for watching.